Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today we need to talk about Summit. Before we do this, can you please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. That's my online card magic course, of course. That's why it's called cardmagiccourse.com. Actually, uh, there's also my cups and balls routine and my lecture on there as well. Plus a course on the Royal Road to Card Magic and uh, loads of live sessions, sometimes on non-card magic stuff, because I'm happy to talk about everything um, on there. So have a look at that, learn from a pro and uh, check it out, cardmagiccourse.com. This is... I I was compelled to run over this morning and make this video because I'm a bit late to the party with this. Something came out. I'd heard rumblings on the forums. Uh, I hadn't read a lot. People had talked about it. And I knew I was going to get it. They sent it over from the States, uh, Abstract Effects, which is very kind. And they... I didn't want to be swayed. So... Because, you know, if you hear everybody say a certain thing, and loves people, it's really, it's really hard for that not to go in at some point and, and use some biases there. Now, I do say that I, I only review things that I like, and that's true. Uh, unless I feel like it's really ripping people off. And that's true too. Neither of those things is relevant to what I'm going to say now. The, the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I, I feel there's a bit of misdirection happened here. There's some misdirection happened where everybody is talking about the big thing about this trick, which isn't actually the trick itself. So I'm going to explain. If you don't know, uh, and like me, you're late to the party, that this is a, a thought of card in Sharpie, as it says on the box, which is true. What is deceiving, and I don't mean necessarily deliberately i'm not going to make a judgment on that is is the what was communicated in the trailer which i purposely again didn't watch i clearly have now i'm not saying in any way that someone maliciously went i'm going to deceive people but there was a feeling of deception that people weren't happy with some people weren't happy with not all this has got good reviews ecats reviewed this tyler lansford reviews it fiddling johnny's reviewed it and of course david from magic orthodoxy reviewed it and um and, and all have been positive reviews so, and, 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 but I think the thing we need to talk about is this whole idea of the trailer and then get to the nitty gritty about the positive and the negative sides of the trick. But it would be remiss of me to not mention this whole big thing, the elephant in the room, so to speak. So the trailer has all this stuff in it and you go and watch it. I'm not going to show the whole trailer here. You have plenty of opportunity to watch it and do watch the other reviewers because they're all very relevant. Um, and very valid. The, the trailer's got all this stuff about, they can think of any card, this is what happens. This is a truly, genuinely thought of card in Sharpie. You have a Sharpie in your hand from the beginning, and the card they think of ends up inside of it. And there's no equivocate or difficult methods. This is easy and amazing. Everybody's talking about this fact that, how, when it, before it came out, no, I've got them reread all this. How's this gonna happen? You know, this is, that sounds amazing. You know, this sounds like the best thing ever. And of course, the higher you get, the lower you're going to drop. This has been hyped. <laughs> so you get it and you start watching it. And I think, but if you were the one of the first people to get this, a lot of people in that first couple of minutes of the download would have been like, oh, that's what's happening. Which is a real shame. Because this reminds me, I went into this thinking, right, imagine you've heard nothing, you've gone to a convention, you've seen it as performed, and you make a judgment on what you've seen. And then we go into the workings. It reminded me of Steve Cook's ID, which I love. I think it's a great trick, and I've performed that. There is a, me performing this on this channel. People absolutely love that trick. I also love uh, Josh Jay's Inferno, uh, Josh Jay's Inferno, and I also love... Joshua Quinn's Dequivocate from his book Paralyze, I think it was in, which I performed on stage in front of a lot of people many times and utterly stormed. Those tricks are great. This trick, like those tricks, is great. It isn't necessarily what they tell you you're going to get on that original trailer. So let's look at the, 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 the power of this. You're using a process which wasn't, which, which by the way, and hats off to them. The other brothers have now released a video of of people performing this in the real world and and um, 
you know, Daryl performing this at a convention as you would perform it, okay? So I haven't done the, the choppy editing thing of, of not seeing the whole routine. So it's out there now. It's all good. We've all, we can all see it. And I'll, uh, I'll pop a link below as well. The, the, the process you go through, so let's take a, a proper... I'm not going to say... It's not exposure, is it? But the, the E word, right? Which could be oak or a K. Um, and if you don't, you're not a magician, you're not, not going to know what I'm talking about, which I've already said anyway, so that's pointless, wasn't it? Uh, there's versions of that, right? There's bad versions, which we all know, magician's choice is to call it. You read it in your kid's magic book and you go, all right, and it doesn't make sense because you say the same thing to mean two different things. And then there's a really like Joshua Quinn's one, which is bang on, down to one card, proper process, the whole thing. It's not kind of, this is like that, like Steve Cook's ID, but only one level. Meaning, you, you only have one choice of, of that thing, um, that, that, or one magician's choice of that, and the rest is completely free, but you use the same language. So it, it, is, it does feel incredibly fair. I've got no issue with that. It's like, because you can start really reinforcing, do you want to change your mind? Do you, want to, you know, you can do all that stuff after this one level. So it is really, really magical. Now, I haven't performed this to, in the real world. I have shown it to my daughter, and I've said before, I've said again, they will get me on anything. They're not interested in seeing me entertain them with a magic trick. They just want to, like, oh, my God, and, and which was the reaction. Literally no idea. The good thing about this is it's got this... The, the, the big thing it's hinged on is that the Sharpie is in sight at all times, even before you start the process. That's the thing. And then there has to be something that happens to, to then do something. Something has to come into play. The only difficult bit, difficult, which I think would work in a normal gig situation, absolutely fine, but if you're one-to-one -one with people, is, is, is bringing that thing into play. It's not difficult. It's not easy, though, and it's not completely self-working. Rehearsal is involved. Practice is involved. Getting it smooth is going to be interesting. Scripting is really super important. Now, you don't have to go through that process. You can just say, because it's not... What it isn't, and I think I can say now, it's not like, think of any card, that's the card in there. You've got to get down to maybe 14 cards or whatever. 12. It's 12. Move along. But that's pretty good. It's like, once they get to that, it's like, right, think of any one of them, which you could say, and it could work like that. But actually, the, the process makes it better. It's like you're making a piece of entertainment, but you're saying, look, you can change your mind. We're doing this process because it's more entertaining. It's better than just going to think of a card. So let's do that, but make sure... It, so it's, so it's, a, it's a good, solid routine, and it is along the lines of it's pretty much the same routine as Steve Cook's ID, but with a completely different prop and a completely different fi feeling and a completely different ending. So the biggest mistake that was made was to make this trailer and, and then people get it, open the box, the massive box, which I think as well is a slight misstep. It is beautiful packaging. I do like beautiful pa packaging, but it does, once you get it all set up, there's a lot of space, okay, which again, it kind of adds to this hype. Now, that's no, it's not an issue, I don't, I don't really mind, but at least it's not loads of plastic, you know, it's, it's, it's cardboard. Um, and they're looking at, it's a nice prop, you know, it's a, it's a nice thing, and, and it, it's clever, and it's well designed. It's incidentally based on um, Patrick Cohn's Instagram, but it's a good, I look at that, and I go, that's a, a really good thing, actually. It's, you're not just paying for the idea. The idea is kind of there. You're paying for the idea and the prop, so it's the opposite of some things. Like I said about John Allen's uh, All or Nothing, you're really paying for the idea there. You can make the prop up really quickly. And, and, and this is something that, you know, you, you, it, it does take pocket space, but I haven't got a massive issue with that. Like, I, I do struggle with pocket space. So if I'm doing this, I'm probably not going to do much more from that pocket. So it's, it's whether I do that. Whether I will do this at a gig, I'm not sure. I will definitely try it. And I definitely do like the routine. There's a moment in it where, which I think has, again, been not talked about enough, when they write something down and they go, it's not working. And they do. My son did it this morning. He went, oh, it's not working. You know, they get a genuine kind of frustration or reaction or, uh, or embarrassment. Oh, it's not working. I'm sorry. And then the whole thing is in their hand. And then you get... The, the, the card out. So I think it, we take away all that noise of, of the issue, the misstep with the trailer, and go, what is this? Genuinely, honestly, as a trick, is it a good trick? Without a doubt, it's a good trick. It's not the best trick. It's not my favorite trick, but it's really good because, they, because this thing is there from the start. We're gonna start something now. Um, in a minute, you're going to write something down. So from that point, they've written it down and they've got to a situation where 
a card is unrolled and you can get them if you play it right to start unrolling it, which I did with my daughter today. And I'll tell you what, she's going to be like, you know, but so slightly unroll it and they've got the card in their hand. That's it's it's powerful stuff. It seems to be well made. Again, I haven't had it on me for a year or not um, at, at the moment. So I've got no issue issue with, with the trick. It's just a shame that that happened. So that's that's my opinion of this. Um, I'm just going to double check that I didn't, I haven't forgotten anything. No, pretty much not. The only thing actually is actually what they, they <laughs> it's really interesting. They say on the, uh, they do the whole presentation, the, the download, which is about 45 minutes. And then at the very end, they go, oh, we forgot. Yeah, it works for Zoom. And I just forgot. It does work for Zoom. Uh, it's going to be very a lot easier for Zoom. And arguably, you won't need one of the things you get with a, with this, but you, you'll need most of it. So, so again, I think you've got, you've got that as well. And there is, uh, ECAT, I think, did, and I did my rare thing. I don't usually watch um, reviews at all of other stuff, but I did want to for this one, see what other people thought. And ECAT actually has her doing it on Zoom uh, on her review. And you can see the reactions of that. And the reactions are always going to be good. No doubt about the reactions are going to be good. Nobody's going to go, yeah, but I, because of, of that process, actually. And, you don't, and like I said, there are free presentations of this on the download, so you don't have to take that process. But I would recommend you actually do that you know, with... Again, looking at the strength of Josh Jay's Inferno and Steve Cook's idea. And of course, many, many, many other things. It's, it's not a new idea. It's taken an old idea and put it in, in putting it into a new package. So I thought I'd share that. I really do want to know your comments. Tonight, and you, this isn't going to mean anything if you're watching this in the future, but I'm going to be doing a comments on comments live show. And if you comment on this, I'll talk about that as well. So uh, there's my bit. So I was a bit late to the party on that. If there's anything you want to uh, want me to review that I haven't yet, do let me know and I'll see what I can do. Take care. Have a good one. Please check out Card Magic Course. And thank you to um, Abstract Effects for sending this to me. You know, and, uh, and I appreciate it. And it is something I, I think I'm going to use. Have a good one.